There are times now and then we all need a friend like a lion. Crane? Any deliveries this morning? Perfect timing, Elias. These have just arrived for Big Blinky, and I know he needs them right away. <sighs> Load me up, Crane. Let's start with Big Blinky's light bulbs. <laughs> Don't drop those. And enough window cleaner to keep Big Blinky clean for a year. Every lighthouse should have clean, shiny windows. Is that it, Crane? No, there's something else, Elias. Something for Trolley. Now, where did I put it? I saw sparks flying when you took that corner, Trolley. Oh, big Blinky, my wheels are so worn down. They don't grip the track anymore. Uh, and they're hot, too. Boiling hot. Too bad you can't cool your wheels off in the ocean. Oh, no. Too cold. Big Blinky, when will my new wheels arrive? Soon, Trolley. Very soon. No, Swifty, you can't do that. You're not old enough yet. <coughs> no, I'm afraid you can't. <coughs> No, Swifty. You can't carry any packages. <laughs> Sorry, Swifty. Elias is right. The way you bounce around, you'd lose a delivery in five seconds. <laughs> Here's what I was looking for. Trolley's new wheels. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Back off a bit, Swifty. You're squashing me against the wharf. See you later, Crane. Bye, Elias. Bye, Swifty. Hope Trolley likes his new wheels. All set, Swifty? <laughs> Dippy! <laughs> I'm coming too. Set course for Big Blinky. <laughs> What's that horrible noise? It's Trolley. And he's in trouble. He's out of control. Come on, he may need help. Big Blinky, we've just seen Trolley. He's totally out of control. I know, and he's been like that for days. I only hope you've got his new wheels on board, Elias. Slow down, Trolley. You'll be pleased to know that Elias is here with our deliveries. <gasps> yeah! I'm gonna get new wheels! I'm gonna get new wheels! <laughs> hey, wait up, everybody! I've got to unload first. Light bulbs for Big Blinky. <gasps> 
window cleaner for Big Blinky. Yeah! And something for Trolley. Elias? I'm sure Crane loaded your new wheels, Trolley. So, where are they then? <laughs> are you sure you ordered my new wheels, Big Blinky? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. There might have been a mistake. I'll go back to Cozy Cove and check with Crane. Good idea, Dippy. While we're waiting, I'll grease your wheels with some of my engine oil trolley. I'd much rather have my new wheels. Be as fast as you can, Dippy. I'll do my best. Try and keep Trolley happy until I get back. <laughs> How does that oil feel, Trolley? Mm. It makes my hot wheels feel a lot cooler. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I can't stop! <laughs> Don't worry, Elias. Trolley will be out of the tunnel before I can blink. I hope he hasn't seized up underground. He might be scared. Maybe Swifty and I should search around the island. Good idea, Elias. Come on, Swifty. Time to get to work. <laughs> if Jimmy comes back this way, tell her to come and find us. I will. Good luck. <sighs> Big Blinky was right. The water's cooling my boiling hot wheels. You scared me. How did you get into the water? I slipped off my track and landed in the ocean. It would never have happened if I'd gotten my shiny new wheels. Crane says she definitely loaded a package for you onto Elias' deck. So Elias must have lost it. Hmm, maybe. Oh, Elias! We need to get Trolley out of the water before his old wheels seize up for good. <sighs> Where can he be? Ah. Yeah! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope that's what I think it is. Did we get it? <laughs> Okay, Dippy, they're all yours. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Oh, please don't drop my new wheels. Don't worry, Trolley, I'm holding on tight. Where's she gone? Dippy's going to attach your wheels underwater. Oh, <laughs> it tickles! All done! Thanks, Dippy. Now, let's get you back where you belong, Trolley. <laughs> wow! Look at my shiny new wheels! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Quick thinking, Swifty! <laughs> now, let's try again. Stay still, Trolley. <laughs> I'm back on track! Thank goodness for that. Swifty may have been the cause of the mix-up in the first place, but he certainly made up for it. Swifty says he's very sorry for the trouble he's caused.
How did he get a hold of the package in the first place? He says he pushed me so that Trolley's package dropped onto him. Then he stayed behind everybody, so that's why nobody could see oh, it. Oh, you naughty little dingy. <laughs> I'm gonna try out my new wheels. Oh, thank you, everybody! Like Trolley's happy. <laughs> and Big Blinky, too. Ah, Swifty says he wants to deliver packages every day. <laughs> Swifty the mailman! <laughs> Total disaster. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There are times now and then we all need a friend like Elias. Like Elias. From the barge to the boat, you're always afloat with Elias. With Elias. There to the rescue by ship or by shore. supposed to get any sleep with all that noise. <laughs> or that. <laughs> well, at least you stopped Smacky <laughs> snoring, Swifty. <laughs> oh, well, if I wasn't awake before, I am now. <laughs> You, the fastest boat in Cozy Cove? What about Cruiser and Princess? <laughs> and me? <laughs> A race? <laughs> Around Gull Island and back? You're on. Ready, set, <laughs> go. <laughs> Oh, no! Uh, uh, trolley! Hi, Big Blinky! You called? My light's gone out. I need a bulb from the store. Right! I'm on it, Big Blinky! <laughs> <laughs> now for some sleep. than I thought. Or maybe he's playing hide-and-go-seek. Swifty? Swifty?
not there either. Maybe he isn't playing hide and go seek. Maybe he really is faster than I thought. Maybe he's got back to Cozy Cove already. <laughs> if he's won the race, he won't let me forget it. <laughs> Where's it coming from? <laughs> oh, I, it couldn't be. I remember when I was young, there was a story about strange songs out at sea sung by, oh, what was it? Of course, it's mermaids. The mermaids must have returned to Cozy Cove. Oh, just wait till I tell Trolley. Tell Trolley what? Uh, trolley! Oh, there you are. Listen to that. What is it, Big Blinky? You'll never guess. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me! It's a mermaid. <gasps> a mermaid? Shh, you'll frighten her away. It's a mermaid. What else can it be? That mournful singing. That sad and wistful melody. Oh, it's just like the mermaid song we used to sing when I was no more than a little beacon. Over the waves and under the sea The mermaids are swimming so wild and free With their long fishy tails they leap up to the rocks where they sit sweetly singing and combing their locks. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It's a song about mermaids. We got one on our island. A real life mermaid. A mermaid? Wow, just wait till we tell the others. Hi, Smacky. Uh, you haven't seen Swifty, have you? Swifty. Oh, yeah. A cheeky little rubber dinky, bouncy little fella. That's right. I was supposed to be having a race with him. And... Oh, you'll never guess what we've just seen. There's a mermaid on Big Blinky's Island. A mermaid? Wow. What does she look like? Well, all sort of mermaids, and, uh... Uh, we, we haven't actually seen her yet, but Trolley said... To... Come on, go. Let's tell the others. See you later, Smacky. If Swifty shows up, tell him he's won. I've got a mermaid to see. <laughs> a mermaid, indeed. Oh, whatever will they come up with next? <laughs> I'm gonna find the mermaid, Big Blinky. Stay right there until I get back. <laughs> I don't have much choice. Whoa! Whoa! Swifty! Whoa! I almost crashed into you. <gasps> you got here pretty fast. Did you see her? <laughs> the mermaid! Over there! Swifty, hold on. I'll have you off there in no time. <laughs> 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 
I think she must have gone away again. I really wanted to see her. Oh, well, maybe in another couple of hundred years. In the meantime, we better get that light of mine fixed. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Elias? But it's Sunday. Everybody's day off. Gull Island will be totally packed. Ooh, better than spooky wind of Island. It's not spooky. It's just got loads of atmosphere. If you squint your eyes, you can imagine what the old abandoned town must have been like a hundred years ago. <laughs> if you squint, you won't see anything but mist. Are you scared of a little mist and the gloom? I am not scared, Elias. Windaville Island just gives me the creeps. Do you want to go to Windaville with us, Eleanor? Sorry, Diffy, but I have to get these supplies back to my helipad. Oh, come on! You've got a heavy load, Eleanor. I'll be okay once I'm airborne. Oh, see you later. Bye, Eleanor. Hey, Diffy. Charged up yet? Nearly. So, you want to come? Oh, I don't know. Well, don't worry, Diffy. I'll just go with Swifty. Oh, all right, then. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't have to make an emergency landing with this load. Now, before you leave, let's check you got everything you need for a day out at Windeville Island. We've already checked, Smacky. Yes, seeing as I was born and bred on Windeville, I consider myself a bit of an expert on what you might need once you're over there. <laughs> So, have you got spare oil and water? Yes. yes. 
Are your communication systems in good working order? Yes. yes! Have you enough reserve power to charge your batteries, Swifty? Yes! <laughs> Can you find your way to Windville Island and back again? Yes! yes. And are you prepared for the gloom and mist that await you there? Yes! No. You don't sound so sure, Dippy. I'm not. She's scared of the trolls and monsters. Mm, I remember hearing strange tales of the Windeville giant when I was a little whippersnapper. <gasps> a giant? Smacky, you're scaring her. <laughs> Come on. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Have fun, Dippy! Oh, I hope so, Smacky. <laughs> How am I ever going to get those crates back onto my underside? <sighs> We're free to play and play all day long! <sighs> Nearly there! Oh, at this rate, I won't get home till lunchtime. Wow, where did they come from? Maybe somebody's been fishing. With feet that big, it would have to be a giant. <gasps> the Windeville giant, just like Smacky said. Oh, don't be silly, Dippy. <laughs> Even Swifty thinks that's the silliest thing he's ever heard. If you don't think it's the Windeville giant, then who else could have made such huge footprints all along the beach? Somebody who likes walking in thick, squishy mud. What if something big and scary has taken over Windeville Island? What if it's waiting to catch us and keep us here? What if you stop panicking, Dippy? Ooh, I'm not staying here a minute longer. If you think there's something scary on Windeville, we have to find out what it is. You can find out. I'm going back to Cozy Cove. There's no reason to be afraid, Dippy. Oh, but I am, Elias. Look at us. We're on the water. Whatever it is, it's on land. If it gets too scary, we can always sail away. <laughs> Hey, Swifty, wait for us! Where's he gone? Swifty always bounces ahead, but he usually comes back. Swifty! Where are you? Oh, he disappeared when he made that turn up ahead. Then let's go find him. Maybe the Windival Giant is up there waiting for us. I am not leaving here without Swifty. Humming won't bring Swifty back? Maybe not, but it makes me feel braver. Giant stopped right here! <gasps> Can you see anything, Elias? Nothing. I'm not going any further. We've got to if we're going to find Swifty. Ah! 
Polydor? Have you seen the Windeville Giant? He's here! We've been following him! What are you doing here? These crates keep dropping off my underside. It's taken me all morning just to get this far. They look very heavy. They are. I've been dragging and dropping them all along the beach. Dragging and dropping? Mm-hmm. Leaving imprints in the mud? Lots of them. Well, that explains the mystery of the giant prince, Dippy. There is no Windable Giant! Just Helenor's heavy cargo! <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it funny. I've still got to work out how I'm ever going to get these home. If you can load up once more, Helenor, I can secure the crates to your undercarriage. Thank you, Elias. That would be wonderful. Keep them steady, Helenor. Stand clear. There you go, Helenor. You're safe to fly now. I can't thank you enough, Elias. No worries, Helenor. Bye! Take care! Uh, wanna play, Elias? No. I think I've had enough of Windeville for one day. <laughs> yeah, let's go home. Swifty says he's the Windeville giant. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs>